Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Kevin Mousetrap Show. Yes, Kevin Mousetrap. What's he doing tonight? Who's he talking to? Where is he? What's he up to? Here am I waiting at home. He's suffering with stone cold gallivanting off. Never so much as a buy and divide. And here he is, Kevin Mousetrap. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we've got a <laughs> wonderful, marvellous, super terrific show tonight. And you'll be meeting some wonderful, marvellous, super terrific people. So straight away, here's the first wonderful, marvellous, super terrific guest star celebrity personality on the show, me. <laughs> and tonight we were hoping to have on the show His, his Highness uh, King Otto of Luxenstein, a really wonderful, marvellous, super terrific monarch. But <laughs> unfortunately, he's slightly absent. And so instead, uh, here's that great trade unionist, Sir Reginald Bucket. <laughs> Reggie? Uh, now, uh, tell me, uh, what's it like being King of Luxenstein, Reggie? Well, I ain't the King of Luxenstein, am I? <laughs> super, super, no. <laughs> Uh, well, let me put it another way. I mean, the point is, um, what's it like not being the King of Lufton's son? Well, it's not changed me in any way. <laughs> See, well, that's certainly good news. And now, here's the bad news. We've just heard that following the recent coup in Luxentine, uh, Reg Bucket is now, in fact, King. <laughs> How about that, King Reg? Well, this is all news to me, I must say. Well, that's the first first civil war we've actually had on the show, and I hope you... <laughs> and this brings me to our next guest, philosopher, wit, uh, traveller, and appalling old bore, Arnold P. Totter. Uh, uh, good evening. <laughs> uh, uh, how do you do, do you do, do, do you? Good evening. And a good evening to you too, sir. To you, do, how do you do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, Mr. Mr. Tartridge, what I want to know uh, is, uh, basically, should priests uh, be free to take drugs? Uh, yeah, I've written a book, you know. <laughs> super, super, super. Now, basically, in a sentence, I mean, uh, in a sentence, I mean, the point is, a lot of people must have said to you, I mean, basically, in a word, uh, would you sell your house to a gorilla? Uh, good, good evening. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Super. And a good evening to you too, sir. Yeah, I, I've written a book, you do. You, you. Yeah. Uh, now, you leaving know. the book aside for the moment, um, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong answer. Good, super. Can you come back next week? Wonderful, marvellous, super, terrific. Now, I'll just say goodbye. Uh, hello. <laughs> well, now, this is where I walk among the studio audience and chat to them quite casually on their sort of level. And uh, here in the front row, I see we have a little old lady, and it's Mrs. Minnie Gooseacre. Oh, however did you know that, Kevin? I, I know quite a lot about you, Minnie. In fact, I know you have a brother in Canada. Oh, yes, I have. Terrific. And I also know that you haven't seen him for 27 years. No, I haven't. Well, just think of that. A brother all those miles away in Canada that you haven't seen for 27 years. Well, tonight, Minnie, surprise, surprise, we've just heard that he's been run over by a bus. <laughs> Get the camera on it, quick. Good. Super, super, super. <laughs> super. <laughs>